Assalamu alaikum everyone. I am Dr. Sarah Zafar and those who are new here, I am an Associate Professor of Pharmacology at CMH Lahore Medical College. In this video, I am going to discuss how to prepare for the pharmacology professional examinations for the undergraduate pharmacology students who have their exams in a few months. Watch this video completely till the end if you want to have a detailed schedule of how to cover pharmacology syllabus in a month. For the students who are appearing with the NAMS University, unke liye meri advice hai that they should follow the past paper session that we are starting from 15th September and that will end at 1st October. The purpose of that session is to make sure that you are able to answer the questions as they are required by the examiner. This is especially for those students who are very good and theoretically, academically, they are sound. But when they solve the questions, they end up scoring less. Also for the students who feel that their concepts are weak, hai, I recommend that they attend this. Taake, this is the point that you can work on your concepts so that you can score higher, inshallah. And lastly, this session is perfect for the students who are aiming for distinction because we are going to selectively tell you what are the distinction questions, what are the specific points that the examiners want to hear in your vivas. If you are still confused whether to join the past paper session or not, let me tell you that we are going to have a free first day trial. You can join and see if it is helpful for you or not. Also, when our first day yoga, usko hum YouTube pe, we are going to offer it uh, free of cost so that everybody can see how we are going to go about paper discussion. For the UHS and other boards, their exams are expected in December. So we will be uh, arranging another past paper session as well, probably in November, but we will finalize the dates with your consent because I can only hold one session after this because of my other commitments like my PhD assignments and stuff. Now for the questions that you left in the DMs, Zunera Ashik asked, how to set the schedule for pharmacology? Do not worry, we have got you covered. You are going to have a ready-made schedule at the end of this video. Hassan asked, is it necessary to do the summary of mini Kadzin chapter if the chapter is already properly done. But it is completely up to you. It's subjective. Hai ye. I personally recommend that you go through the summary because it's a quick revision. Ho jati hai. If you feel that you have read properly, you retained it and you don't need to go over the summary, it is up to you. Generally, if you have very properly studied the chapter, so summary may sa kuch extra nahi likha hoga, jo uncovered regya ho. But uh, for the majority of the students, I prefer that yes, you should go through the summary. Khatija asked, Kaplan and Mini Katzink, are they enough for the MCQs? Or is there any MCQ book recommendation? But I recommend that Mini Katzink and Lippin Court ko thoroughly study kare. और उनके MCQs को आप solve करें because they are very application based. उसके बाद if you are theoretically sound, तो um, the only MCQ books that I would recommend would be the past paper books if you can get hold of them. Otherwise कोई uh, चीज specifically आपके course के मताबिक नहीं बनी भी है, कोई book ऐसी नहीं बनी भी है. So I don't recommend that you hunt for the MCQs in the books. Jamil asked some tips for distinction preparation, please. How to get distinction in pharma? Again, these points you should not worry about. If you have studied well throughout the year and if your concepts are solid, we are going to help you achieve a distinction inshallah. Tehreem asks how to cover the syllabus. If you want a map, we have it for you. Parna aap nahi hai, uska koi solution nahi hai. Aisha asks about the study techniques which we are going to discuss in detail in our past paper sessions. So stay tuned for that. How to remember something for a long time, other than repetition? But uh, uh, this question nature could defy. Karta hai. I cannot tell you any method that would help you in retaining something for a long time other than repetition. Repetition scientifically is a method that feeds our brain, which is how our neurotransmitters work. Because when we repeat something, then the memory storage jo hai, wo short term memory se jo hai, wo intermediate memory and jata hai, aur phir intermediate se wo long term mein jata hai. Ye to physiology mein chemically pad chuke hue ho sari cheez ko. I cannot really do anything other than that. You have to repeat it. Aap visually 
जिस चीज़ को जितना ज़्यादा री करेंगे ऑडिटरी जितना री करेंगे वर्बली जितना री करेंगे उतना आपकी मेमोरी स्ट्रॉन्ग हो जाएगी अगर आपको बार बार खुद से अकेले रिपीट करना बोरिंग लगता है यू कैन डिस्कस इट अमंग्स योर फ्रेंड्स आपकी ऑडिटरी री होगी आप विजुअल फ्लैश कार्ड्स बना सकते हो फ्लो चार्ट बना सकते हो आपकी विजुअल री हो जाएगी यू हैव टू फाइंड आउट मेथड्स बट द बेसिस ऑफ ऑल दोज मेथड्स इज रिपिटेशन सो लास्टली हम लोगों ने प्लान किया है कि एक रिविजन प्रोटोकॉल हम बनाएंगे ड्यूरिंग द दीज मंथ्स बिकॉज सब यूनिवर्सिटीज़ के एग्जाम्स आर नियरिंग अप सो एक ऐसा प्रोटोकॉल बनाया जाएगा जिसमें डेली हम कोई ना कोई वीडियो अपलोड करें विच वुड बी रिगार्डिंग आइर सम एम सी क्यू रिविजन और सम इम्पॉर्टेंट वाइवा क्वेश्चन कोई ना कोई ऐसा इम्पॉर्टेंट कॉन्सेप्ट डेट इज़ गोइंग टू हेल्प यू इन योर एग्जाम्स वी आर गोइंग टू मेक श्योर कि हम अपने यूट्यूब पर आपके लिए कोई ना कोई कॉन्टेंट ऐड करते रहें सो ट्यून इन डेली टू आर यूट्यूब चैनल Please subscribe and ring the bell icon if you haven't done so already. Thank you.